I feel like I've been preparing for this movie my entire life. So for folks who are just hearing about your monster for the first time, tell us about your characters and why you had to play them. Okay, I play Laura Franco, who's a musical theater actress whose life has just basically fallen to pieces because her boyfriend broke up with her while she was recovering from cancer surgery. So she's literally in the lowest of the lows of your life and severely depressed. And the movie is basically about coming out of that rut and getting in touch with your rage. And I feel like for me as a woman who has been conditioned by society as many of us to like be silent and to be polite and to not, you know, ruffle any feathers. This is an important message to get to women out there. And I think I just saw myself when I read the script in her and I knew that lots of women would see themselves in Laura and, and that's why I wanted to do it. I play Monster, uh, sort of the embodiment of that rage. No last name, just Monster. Uh, yeah, it's Zendaya Cher Monster. Uh, I've never gotten to do anything with prosthetics before, so that was sort of the first thing that got me curious about it. But also, when you meet Caroline Lindy, who directed this movie, and see what a clear vision she has for this genre mashup, it's something you can't say no to. I feel like I've been preparing for this movie my entire life, because I love horror and I love rom-coms, and this was like a perfect little mixture of the two and I went to school for musical theater and there's musical theater in this movie so I was like oh like if I ordered something from up above this script would be sent to me by the angels and it just landed with me and I was like this is perfect all right speed round three questions favorite musical of all time Melissa <gasps> wicked um uh oh uh, that's, that's... I've got to say the first one I saw when I was 10 was Starlight Express. Wow. <laughs> Do you know that musical? Yeah. yeah. Favorite rom-com of all time? That's tough. Well, it's When Harry Met Sally for me. Yeah, I was going to say When Harry Met Sally or My Best Friend's Wedding, which is like, some people don't say it's a rom-com, but I think it's a rom-com. You're so, so right. Horror movie you first remember watching and being scared out of your mind? Oh boy, uh, Friday the 13th. I had a stepbrother show it to me way too early and I tried to stay awake for, I, I made it almost five days and my mom was like, what's what's going on? Um, I still can't watch that movie. Um, Chucky? I know it's not called Chucky in English, but in Mexico it's called Chucky el Muñeco Diabolico. Literally, Chucky the Diabolical Doll. That's what the what that's what it's called in Mexico. What is that movie called? Child's Play. Child's, Child's play. play, yeah. But that, that was very scary for me. I thought maybe you were pulling my chain. <laughs>